In a small village nestled among long-stretched mountain roads, there lived a student brimming with enthusiasm, whom everyone called Akira. With sharp intellect and analytical skills, Akira was forever engrossed in pondering over every situation. His soul became an endless maze where ideas ceaselessly flowed, sometimes causing confusion and trouble. One day, Akira heard rumors of a famed Zen master, a recluse living atop a secluded mountain. Determined, he set out to seek guidance to overcome his habit of overthinking. Akira embarked on a long journey to meet the Zen master. After enduring many hardships and challenges, he finally arrived at the small temple of the Zen master, a figure of peace and wisdom, who welcomed Akira with a serene smile, sensing the turmoil within the young man. The Zen master invited Akira to sit beneath the canopy of an oak tree where the chirping of various birds, combined with the gentle breeze rustling through the leaves, created a tranquil and relaxed atmosphere. Unable to contain his curiosity, Akira suddenly said, Master, my life is filled with difficulties due to excessive thoughts. My mind always leads me into a myriad of thoughts, making it extremely difficult to find peace. Please show me how to overcome this. The Zen master listened deeply and then nodded with understanding. He invited Akira to look at a nearby stream. The water in the stream flows smoothly over the rocks. Do you see it? The Zen master asked. Akira followed the direction. The Zen master pointed and nodded, his eyes focused on the flowing water. Imagine, the Zen master began, if the water in that stream stopped flowing and became stagnant, it would turn murky and its capacity to sustain rich life would cease. The words of the Zen master resonated within Akira's mind, but the meaning was not yet clear. The Zen master continued, the way you think is like that stream. Thoughts are meant to flow freely coming and going without being bound. However, when you try to hold on to them, intentionally control and analyze each thought, they lose their fluidity and become a burden. Akira felt confused, unable to understand further. How can I learn to let go of these thoughts? They seem to always control me. The Zen master smiled softly and then picked up a small pebble from beside him, holding the pebble and asking Akira, what do you think about the nature of this stone? Akira examined the pebble, perplexed by his many thoughts. It is just a stone, master, Akira replied. The Zen master nodded. Then, instead of returning the stone to its place, he clenched it in his hand. What is the nature of this stone now? The Zen master asked again. Akira was puzzled as the stone was obscured by the Zen master's hand. I cannot be certain, master. Its nature is hidden. The Zen master chuckled louder and gently opened his hand, laying the stone on his open palm. This stone, like your thoughts, can only be truly understood when you let go and observe its real nature the Zen master explained. When you cling to thoughts, when you try to control and analyze them, they lose their natural essence and become burdensome. Akira sat motionless as the thought deeply sank into his mind. He began to understand that overthinking was not a solution, but a habit needing change through awareness and acceptance. From then on, Akira learned to observe his thoughts without holding them back. He discovered freedom in letting them pass through his mind like clouds across the vast sky. He began to cherish the simplicity of the present, letting go of the effort to categorize and speculate on every arising thought. One day, as he sat beneath the tree with the Zen master, 
Akira silently observed an ant struggling to carry a large seed. Akira realized the ant was overexerting itself to transport a seed much larger than its size. The Zen master noticed Akira's interest and said, Look closely at that ant, Akira. It is striving endlessly, yet it cannot achieve success. Akira pondered the Zen master's teaching. Perhaps the ant was trying to control everything instead of relaxing and accepting failure. Akira shared his thought. Looking at the Zen master, he nodded and said, Exactly, Akira. Sometimes life requires us to know when to let go, when to relax, and when to accept. The ant is expending too much energy on an unattainable goal instead of enjoying the journey and finding things that could bring it happiness. As the sun set, Akira sat contemplating the Zen master's wisdom, watching the sunset fade. He saw that life, like the streams of thought, sometimes we cling too tightly, trying to control and analyze too much, leading to imbalance and exhaustion. But if we learn to relax, view everything gently and without judgment, we will find peace and calm within ourselves. <laughs>